What's up guys, PBD here and welcome to episode 41 of my road to Manchester City. Having a look at our transfer list, you are looking at De Bruyne being sold for 240 and that is because I was thinking about selling all of the Inform City cards that we have uh, so we can save coins during Team of the Season. Then I thought about it some more and I said, you know what, they're not really going to drop much more than they already have so there's no point in selling them. However, I will sell De Bruyne because just in case he gets the team of the season i would want those coins before he drops even more and also even if he doesn't get a team of the season getting rid of the, uh, the inform de bruyne so we can have more coins to get the aguero is probably a better route so we're gonna end up buying the normal de bruyne like next episode or something like that and then we're going to try to work up to the aguero get that aguero and then the the inform de bruyne cards so we're going into our uh, um an uh, one more game in Division 3. Last episode, we continued winning. Uh, it was a live commentary. We ended up losing the lead in one game and tying. We won the other one, though. And we're in a really good spot right now. We're yet to lose in Division 3. And over here in this game, in the 8th minute, Aguero threw on goal, goal. Great burst of pace and finds the back of the net with a great finish. Gets the 1-0 lead and things are looking good as we're up early and over here in the 11th minute, not too long after getting that first goal, he would try and get an equalizer over here and a very good passing between his team, Douglas Costa finds the back of the net. So that was a little bit annoying because once again, our defense is split, something I do worry a little bit about in this team. However, in the 15th minute, Aguero would have a great chance right there. It's cleared off the line by Zuniga. However, we do win the ball back with Pablo Zabaleta, gives the header to David Silva, David Silva to Fernandinho, Fernandinho to Navas, Navas swings in a low cross, goalie saves it, deflects the Sterling, and he tucks it away to give us the lead once again, this time 2-1, to one, and three goals in like 20 minutes, so it's looking like it's going to be a high scoring game, and in the 30th, we would try and grab a third over here, David Silva tries to give to Aguero, and he does Aguero with a weird finish right there, makes it 3-1, Grabs his second goal of the game, and we now have the two-goal cushion. But we weren't done there because in the 31st minute, David Silva once again, this time supplying it to Navas. Navas with his pace down the right-hand side. Does a nice little skill move right there. Koscielny brings him down. Doesn't get the ball in the box. Penalty to us, and a great chance to make it 4-1 over here. And Navas is way better on FIFA than he is on uh, re than he is in real life which is a little bit disappointing, but uh, we're going to give the penalty to him because it's only fair. He got fouled, and uh, he definitely deserves a goal in this game for all he has done, and he shoots it down the middle. Goalkeeper stays on the middle, but yeah, it does go too high for the goalkeeper, and we end up taking the 4-1 lead, and it looks like we're going to head into the half with a 4-1 lead, but he would have the last laugh because in the 45th minute over here, Lewandowski once again to Douglas Costa, who somehow manages to score that, hits the top crossbar, bounces over the line and comes out. That is extremely annoying, but it is what it is. Our defense, once again, looking a little bit faulty. And we head into the second half with a 4-2 lead. A little bit annoying, would have been nice to have that uh, three goal cushion going into the second half, but we still have the lead and that's all that matters. So uh, we go into the half, I feel like we're playing better. We could definitely win this game. Just gotta play out the rest of the second half possibly get us a fifth goal and the 60th minute we go ahead do some subs take off david silva bring on de bruyne bring on sanya for zavaleta the usual subs and we try to look for a fifth over here and in the 70th minute we would have a free kick right outside the box with yaya torre yeah torre is amazing at free kicks can we score and find the back of the net unfortunately not though but it does ball bounce back to yaya torre who has a shot and he can't finish that one either so a little bit unlucky not to have score right there yaya but uh, he is deadly on the free kicks, so you have to watch out. And in the 90th minute, we would have a chance to make it 5-2. One last attack, Aguero, can he get the hat-trick through on goal? Lloris comes up big though, saves it, and the game would end 4-2. So Aguero, a little bit unlucky not to have gotten his hat-trick there. Still my man of the match uh, because he did end up getting two goals that were pretty crucial. And EA agrees with us as they give him a 9.6. Navas, however, was up there with Yaya Torre on the 8.2. Thought they both had a good game also. So a pretty deserved win, I would say. We get three more points. Now we're just two points away from promotion. Five points away from the title. 
things are looking great. If we win this next game, we can head into Division 2 next episode if we don't win the title or if we win the title. Well, whatever. And something I want to warn you guys is... Um, Oh, I guess I don't have to. I was going to tell you guys that I'm going to start playing with the second team, but I'm not going to sell any of the players, so that makes no sense. But yeah, like I was saying, we're going to sell off the Bernie's Inform card. We're going to have around 400,000 coins once we sell him. We're going to buy his normal card. We're going to play with his normal card. And then we're going to try to build up coins during team this season to be one step closer to that Aguero card. Hopefully Aguero does not get a team this season because that would just be... Uh, that would be difficult to get but uh, over here in the game early on he ends up taking the lead 1-0 lead extremely frustrating goal to concede because it went through the goalkeeper's legs or uh, our defender's legs and those goals are just really frustrating but we would try to find an equalizer and we do Navas cuts inside and has a banger from his weak foot right there. I didn't know Navas was capable of that and grabbed us the equalizer. So a pretty good episode so far for Navas I would say because he has two goals in two games, probably a few assists in there and uh, we head into the second half one to one, pretty tight game, anybody's game to be honest and in the 65th minute he would make a crucial mistake right there with PK, gives it to Navas, Navas to Aguero, Aguero beats the defender and finds the back of the net and right after that we go ahead and do some subs. So that might be a little bit annoying for our opponents, but I usually do the subs in the 60th minute. So that's why I pause it as soon as I scored. We go ahead and do the usual subs once again. And we are now in the driver's seat as we have the 2-1 lead. Need to grab a third goal though, because a one goal cushion is not usually enough. And in the 85th minute over here, we would have a chance. De Bruyne to Aguero, Aguero back to De Bruyne. De Bruyne back to Aguero, Aguero to Navas, Navas tries and he does find the back of the net so what an episode for the little spanish man grabs his second goal of the game all around him and aguero were probably the man of the episodes because they did amazing this um episode and we ended up getting promoted to division two which is something i didn't think i'd ever say with this team because we struggled in the bottom divisions and i didn't think we'd be capable of going this good in division three so now we're off to division through uh two and we are trying to get the title next episode so anyways guys this has been episode 41 my name is pippy deed and i'm out